Okay, so before we get into what Vibe marketing is, I thought I'd talk a little bit about Vibe coding, which is very similar. This will explain the concept of the Vibe, right? So this is my Bolt.new course, right? So it's about, you know, uh, making things with Vibe coding. So for example, over the weekend, I just added this. So I want to change this to live now on my web page, right? So all I need to do is change coming soon to live, make it green text. Okay, so you can see I just talked to my app here, in this case, bolt.new, and I just changed, I'm just changing this word. So that's what the idea of the vibe is, right? The AI is doing all of the work here. It's changing the code in the back end here, and then it will change the button for me. Okay, so now you can see here, I changed this one to live, right? So you just keep adding whatever it is you want. Like, So I'll talk a little bit more about vibe coding at the end of the video. But in this video, I wanna talk about what is vibe marketing, my example of vibe marketing, where I go through an example, and what marketers need to learn. Okay, since this is quite a new novel approach to marketing, I thought I'd just explain it. Here's a definition for you. Vibe marketing is when you use AI as the driving force of your marketing workflow, where the marketer adds their experience and their taste to make world-class marketing materials and software. Okay, so what does that really mean? It's basically, we, we go first with AI, right? So AI is doing a lot of the execution, it's doing a lot of the writing, the coding, all of that. And we're adding our inputs a bit like I just showed you there. We're just adding our taste and you know what the what will people will actually really get out of it. You, you could see before I didn't write any of the code to change the code in my tool. I just uh, I just told it what I wanted, right? So that's kind of what it is. It's not really about talking to the AI. I mean, that's kind of a feature of vibe marketing, which I also use to be honest. Uh, it's funny when this AI coding boom came out and people started uh, vibe coding and all of this, I was like, oh, that's what I do in marketing is like, I talk to AI nonstop, go back and forth to try to get my ideas. And um, I've been doing this for more than a year, right with SEO. So I think it's very important that you you just understand that it's just this back and forth where AI is, you know, the driving force, right? It's doing a lot of the execution and you're giving your your experience about improving the AI to make it better. Okay, so the best way I can actually explain it is to show you. So let's show you an example of what I've been doing over the past year with this kind of vibe marketing. Okay, so an example of, mar of something that you do in marketing is writing a blog post, all right? So here's a blog post called What is Vibe Marketing, all right? So Two things, I, two things I mainly need for this blog post is a featured image, right? That comes at the top of the blog post and also my text, obviously. So let's start with the featured image. I think this is a really good example of uh, vibe, co vibe marketing, should I say. Uh, so in this case, I'm gonna use Claude. All right, Claude is very good at writing and code, right? I use ChatGPT a bit more for kind of those brainstormings and like an assistant that it can help me do things, you know, step by step, bring out plans and stuff like that. So let's have a look at Claude here. Let's start with our vibe marketing. So I turn on my microphone and all my words will appear here that I don't want these ones, but let's go. Help me create some concepts for a featured blog post image. The title of the blog post is what is vibe marketing? Okay, let's go with this one and see the concepts that I get from Claude. So at this point, I just need to read through these. Okay, I was thinking like a color spectrum myself. I think that, you know, adds the, the vibe thing. Um, but maybe I would need something a little bit more digital, right? Our marketing is like, is that really going to show off the marketing? Possibly. It's not really what I'm doing, is it? I, I want to express the back and forth, right? Okay, I want it to represent digital marketing. I don't want any robots or anything like that. Holographics are fine. Vibe marketing is when you go back and forth with an AI tool. So try to express that too. All right, so let's see what we get at this point. So you can see now uh, with the back and forth, now I have something a little bit uh, more that you know is more relevant to what I'm actually doing, right? I kind of like this one. Uh, this first one is pretty good. All of these ideas are already better, right? So let's see what we can do now. Write me a prompt for an AI image generation tool based on 
one number one okay so it's actually made it into this box which i don't like usually but anyway i can copy this now and go into my image generation tool so i use this one sometimes i use various ones but let's see what we get here so let's see we want to have 69 right and um, we have our prompt right and let's see what we get okay so we have our image not delighted with that one to be honest uh, so let's go back again uh, to claude okay let's ask for a prompt based on number seven uh, you could you could ask this to go back and try to edit right i don't really like all these icons but i mean the idea of the image is pretty cool it does actually help uh, to understand what this vibe marketing is you know the ai and the human so but I'm not too sure about this concept overall. So let's copy this one in and try this one. Okay, this one is pretty weird as well. Uh, I don't know which model I'm using here. Uh, I should have checked that first, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to keep going back and back, back and forth, but you get the idea, right? I'm using my experience now to kind of choose my human vi vision, right? <laughs> to see that this is a bit much, right? But you can get the idea. Maybe the first one was better actually. Okay, so I got some more uh, images here and yeah, I think I like this one. This is, uh, this is really cool. <laughs> I really like this one. So you can see uh, that I'm just using my own judgment, right? To choose stuff uh, from the AI. He's kind of like, using it as a puppet i really like that that kind of gets across the idea for me so i just need to download this image all right and i just need to upload it here to my blog so i have my featured image now looks pretty cool so next we need the text right all right so ask ChatGPT what vibe marketing is and it doesn't understand this it's not exactly what i want so let's type that in okay so i got this from greg eisenberg you should definitely follow him on x and on youtube so I just want to give some context, right? And I also want to use this canvas feature, right? This will be super helpful for, you know, my writing or my text. So the cool thing about canvas is you can just, you know, add this and then ask to change or whatever. You just say edit that or whatever. So this is a good, cool, good tool to use uh, for, for vibe marketing, right? You can also use Gemini uh, or any other AI writer that has a kind of content editor like this. So you can just change it here or whatever, search the web. Or whatever so this is fine for the moment uh, you can also you know make it longer suggest edits right this is cool so this is kind of a way of vibe writing if you use a tool like this okay and we can just edit the text here as we want so we might want to briefly elaborate on how okay so you can just elaborate on how this is working so i can just use ChatGPT to help me guide me and anything that i don't want or something maybe i don't want to talk about this in fact this is really really good okay so that's just an example of vibe marketing let's move on to what marketers actually need to learn right to be you know at the top of their game with this type of stuff okay so the types of tools that you need to use are tools that use AI first so this is a good example of one is called flora right so you can do all your kind of creative designs so you add these blocks of like text image and video so you just need to be you know up to date right with these tools right that's kind of the hardest part right so subscribe to this channel if you want to keep up to date right so let's uh, test this out here so here is an image one i'm just copying my same prompt right and we'll get some images let's also add this for a video so this is actually going to give us like four different examples and then we choose so you can see how we can create like tons of marketing material here with these uh, different uh, you know media types right so we can do text we can do image right and then we can just create and add the best ones to our websites so the cool thing about this tool is that we can just you know add the blocks or like we can get four of this which i should have done in the example but anyway uh, and, you know you get four different examples or you can just change this into text or video so you can make a video out of this so you can think about how powerful that is like image to video and uh, the videos obviously take a bit longer okay while that video is generating i'll just go into the next one right the next type of tools you need to learn is like these uh, coding tools right they're not really coding tools because well you can code but like the the main aspect for a marketer is really just to be this vibe coding where you're just asking for whatever you want so for example you know i created this course platform uh, to teach this uh, tool bolt.new right so you know you can add all this stuff in that is it's just super cool but the app the amount of use cases and applications of this is insane you know you can create like generating tools calculators uh you know websites like any little piece of content can be improved by some little tool or something that can help you know so i think that's like software is just 
it's more accessible now and that's why marketers should also be creating software it doesn't have to be something complicated it could be something just useful you know that people can actually use and one thing that is very important is that it's ai first so things like this is ai first right it's it's there to be used and we just you know manipulate it into the way that we want right so that's uh, what I think is coming the big di big difference now because lots of tools before this kind of like AI revolution were like, uh, you know, they're, they're done first for your workflows, right? But then you add, they're just adding the AI in to edit. But, you know, what we really need now is a tool like this where it's actually AI first and then we come in and edit and change to what we want, right? So that's the type of tool you should be looking for. This is another one called Bolt, and I'll leave links to all of these down below. So <laughs> this one is uh, pretty interesting, right? Uh, it's made a little short video out of it, okay? And other videos are obviously gonna be massive, so it's like you need to be able to create UGC ads, right? So AI UGC ads, so <laughs> look at this. It's pretty pretty interesting. Obviously then that's, that's pretty cool, but we need to add our own touch to this to make it better, right? Okay, the next thing we need to learn is automation and AI agents, right? So this is obviously totally new, all this stuff. So one of the platforms is called uh, Nation. I think it's N8, N8N, I assume that's called Nation. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, but yeah, so just setting up all these automations, right? So super important that your workflow, that you're not repeating tasks. So it's like, you want to you have everything in your workflow done step by step and then you're kind of adding the pieces in when it is needed you know the the image and the taste what we did earlier is very important or something like this you have a nice uh, workflow right for an seo workflow for an ai agent that goes off and does tons of stuff so you can use platforms to do this you can also use tools like cursor and windsurf it's more coding but like like i said i don't know how to code but i'm using these ai agents to uh, create things so that's a little bit beyond the scope of this video. Okay, and the last thing that I think that we need to learn are design principles. So this is the thing that, uh, yeah, I probably struggle with the most, to be honest, is design. I just don't have that eye for design for some reason. Uh, maybe it's just practice and I'm not that arty with images and stuff like that. But I think learning principles of design are, are really important for designing websites, designing web apps, designing mobile apps. Uh, landing pages, all of this stuff, you need to add your own little uh, design um, improvements, right? So that's something that I'm going to be working on as well over the next uh, few months and years. If you do want to learn more about AI coding, how to create, you know, affiliate websites in in a few minutes and tons of web apps and little things that you can add, it will, it will definitely improve your marketing. So check out the course. Uh, I'll leave in the description down below. Thanks for watching. If you have any ideas about Vibe Marketing, then leave them in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Uh, there's so many more things that are going to happen in the future, obviously. I think the main thing is this kind of AI first platform and then a human in the loop, as it's called, to add their own uh, taste and yeah, just to add to make things better, right? So that's it for this video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with AI and marketing and SEO and all of that good stuff. Thanks for watching.